about to do an oil change on the Yamaha V Star 650, so stay tuned and check it out. Oil change and oil filter for the Yamaha V Star 650. So, first, we're removing the kickstand stand, so we can get to it easier. There you go, if you remove one, it's enough. And now you can get to it a lot easier. So if we have a look underneath here, right there, down the there somewhere. And Bob's your uncle. Quite colour, is it? So we let that drain, keep the bike even, and we let it drain. As you can see, it's coming all out. Make sure the bike's in this upright position. Our next step is we need to remove these little Allen key screws and you can't forget which one is which. I think there's one of them which is a little bit longer than the other. It's over here on the other side. That's the cover. Cover comes off. And then there's three more Allen keys in, in the inside of it, as you can see. It's got three more on the inside. These are the ones you've got to be careful when you're removing them. They're all different sizes. So make sure you remember which one you're taking off and, and when you're going to put it back on. Değişik boyut değil mi? Evet. Yok. Yes, Bazıları evet. farklı. Değişik boyut. Hı hı. And there's one little one right under there that you need to get rid of as well. There you go, that's the oil filter.
you got to give it some time for it all to leak out. Make sure you give it a good clean afterwards. So you place the uh, oil filter inside. Give it a nice little clean. Always replace the O-ring. Just put the screws back in again in the order you took them out. Probably the best idea. This is how you do the oil change. Yamaha V-Star 650 oil change and oil filter change. Can't go wrong. So they all go back in again in the order you took them out. Make sure they're nice and snug. This is turkey, no torque wrench is required. Of course you can remove the exhaust and all that as well, but we don't want to do that. Too much work. It's a lot easier. Works a treat. Just giving it a clean where the oil's dripped. And then the cover goes back on.
make sure they're on nice and tight and this side's complete so once the oil filter's on and all back in again then you go back to the other side and uh, put your uh, oil in there which we're going to do now this is the oil that I'm using a uh, Yamalube 20 by 50 um, I don't know, it works well for me. I've tried it a few times before and I haven't complained, I've got no complaints. Now we're gonna rock it back on there. Now with an oil change, uh, with the filter as well, it takes 2.8 litres. You need to put 2.8 litres of oil uh, if you're doing the, um, uh, the oil filter as well. And I think it's like 2.6 if you're not doing the oil filter we did the oil filter so we'll be putting 2.8 liters of oil so don't forget to put your the nut back on where you drain the oil nut goes back on nice and tight otherwise you'll get a leak Put our we put our kickstand bolt that back on as well. Kickstands back on, the plugs on, so now that the only thing that's left is putting the oil in. So our oil's just about done. Done. Unreal. There you go, and that's the Yamaha V Star 650 oil change, oil and oil filter change for the Yamaha V Star 650. Bob's my uncle, and I'm ready for a ride. Stay tuned for more videos. Give me a like, subscribe, and you will get more videos coming your way. From a sunny Antalya, Fuzz Buzz signing out. You have been buzzed by the fuzz.